What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, want to show you a watch I got. And this was a brand new watch. It literally just came out. Like today. It's from Spinnaker. And these are sailing themed watches. This is the box it comes in. This one's called The Wreck. Now you have seen uh, a Spinnaker on my channel before because I checked it out and just was really impressed with them. UK based company, I believe. And here it is. This one is called The Wreck. It's the SP-5051. And why it's called The Wreck is because of the design of the dial right there. You can see it kind of looks like a wreck. It's like this antiqued, vintage uh, dial here. And I'm going to assume that I'm going to be pretty impressed with this watch now. What I will say here is that, well, I'm going to give this watch away. <laughs> I'm going to make that commitment now. So uh, stay tuned for how to get this one. The the uh, instructions for being eligible to receive this as a giveaway is going to be different than all the rest. Uh, I'm trying to work with ways of giving these things away that's fair and achievable. <gasps> Look at that. We'll get to that in a second here. But uh, in terms of, you know, a brand new watch, it has... This kind of vintage look to it. I like this this finish on the case. I mean, you know what? Spinnaker is doing some unique things, right? Diving watches, sailing watches. They've been around, you know, waterproof watches. There's some really cool ones. I love them, you know. And uh, but you know, for people to do things that I've never seen done on a watch before, like this kind of finish, where it's kind of like this antique to brass. It kind of reminds me of those old diving bell helmets. Um, it's something I have never seen on a watch that I've had. Now, I know even Panerai has done kind of some some finishes like that, but that is really, really cool. And, you know, Spinnaker is a brand that I have had their watches now, and I think they have really been very high quality. They have lasted a long time. They feel good. I can tell you this watch has a lot of weight. They're just doing some creative things, and I hope they keep doing it. And uh, we're going to show some more uh, Spinnakers here because uh, they got my credit card number and it's just so easy to get more stuff. But the cool thing right there, I already showed it to you. This one has an automatic movement. Um, we will continue to talk about that. But I love that this kind of vintage, uh, scratched up like dial, like it's a wreck, like a shipwreck. And this kind of brass like finish here on the, the case, which I think is 316L stainless steel. Um, Hardened mineral crystal lens. We've got a plastic cover on there. Sorry about that. Would have gotten that out a little sooner. Um, and the crystal here kind of rises above this outer bezel a little bit. Um, 44 millimeters. Obviously kind of a really interesting com color combination with this brass and then this kind of, oh, I don't know, like sage green leather band. One of the things that's really cool about this is this is a thick leather band. I mean, four millimeters thick at least, and it's just soft and supple, kind of like me. Look at that spinnaker right there on a matching style, kind of a vintage antique style uh, buckle right there. And man, this thing is soft. Dude, thick watch bands kind of scare me. They scare me because they're so thick and unwieldy sometimes, but this is soft. And you know, it's got like a... Um, a full grain leather like finish it feels like suede this is so um smooth and silky smooth it's kind of like a sham wow sham wow uh red tie down stitching right up here on the the top of the band or near the lugs i should say but it's on the top and the bottom band right there just kind of cool sorry about this uh Let's try to get this out of the way so that the wrist shot doesn't look ridiculous. Um, and here it is. So there, got the watch on. I've got a pretty big wrist, you know, 7-inch wrist. 44 millimeters is, is like I, I have said, my perfect watch size. It's just not too small. It's not too big. It's super wearable. It looks good. It can still get a lot of attention. Um, I just really, really like it. Now, we also have a unidirectional bezel there. See, I can't turn it this way. Nice, solid, distinct clicks. They're loud too. And we're going to move it because we have a pip right there, which I assume maybe has some loom on it, which is match matches the pips on the hour markers right there. We'll get this 
turned right up the top so my OCD doesn't kick in. Um, first 15, actually up to 20 minutes, has red markings. Uh, the bezel here, I'm not sure if it's ceramic, kind of looks like it, or metal. And then the 20, 30, 40 minutes are marked there as well. Um, you know, the pips are applied here on the hour hand. You have this really long outlined in red minute hand with uh, a big arrow there. And the reason is, it's a diver's watch. It's a shipwreck watch. You go down and dive with it. And so you want to be able to focus on that uh, versus where you've got your pip there so you don't run out of air. You know, because dying sucks. It does. And then your hour hand is a, a little bit more subtle, kind of blends in the background a little bit. Uh, second hand here is in green, another matching circular pip there. Um, I'm assuming that there's loom here. I'll check that out, and if there is, I will roll in footage of the loom on the watch. But especially in diving watches, it gets dark down there. You might want to check that out. Oh, let me just quick show you here, too, on the pillow. I didn't even notice that. Look at that spinnaker. It's kind of like painted on the pillow. How cool is that? Good for you, spinnaker. Um, the spinnaker logo on there is in silver and is three-dimensional. Maybe a little hard to tell, but... And it rises above the dial, which is pretty cool. Um, the little hour markers are in, all in red, and uh, the white minute markers are all silk screened on there, too. Nice, kind of grippy, uh, like gear toothed edge to the bezel. Uh, you know, I like it. I like it. It kind of reminds me of like the Omega Rolexes, Submariners, those, those types of things. I think for uh, a diver style watch it's really really super cool date window right there and spinnaker logo on the crown let me see if i can get this crown open so it does appear to be a screw down crown poop there it goes pops right out i can feel it winding the movement right there it's an automatic movement i know you guys love that pull it out here one more time and let's see what we got here Maybe I haven't gotten it far enough. There we go. All right, now I can set the time. And that kind of helps us see that we also have some of the info uh, printed right here on the bottom of the dial. And that red on brown might be a little hard to read. But it shows that it's 333 feet, 100 meter water resistant in the red and then automatic there. Um, and then, I don't know. Turn it the other way. We've got. So you can set the time. So, you can hear it winding the movement. I don't know if you can hear that. Now I'm kind of back in the threads here. Screw down the crown. Keeps it nice and water resistant. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's take a look at the movement here. It is a precise Japanese movement. The Japanese are always precise. 24 joules self winding movement. And you can see there. Uh, black cam with the spinnaker logo and name on it. I think it's a nice looking. Certainly seems smooth. Uh, I'm going to call uh, it a Miyota movement. I don't know that I can see anything here that says Telltale Miyota, but it might not be. Uh, it might be Seiko or something like that, but I can't see anything or it gives it away. It's a dead giveaway, but you can see all the Mechanicals in there through this exhibition back window and just beautiful and everything seems to be moving around nice and nice and loose and my assumption is you know what I've had Miona movements. I've had Seiko Casio uh, Never had problems with them, you know never had problems with them But it's pretty cool automatic movement anyway I, I'm just kind of impressed because a lot of times when you look at watches that aren't at a really super high price point, you just get so used to them being quartz movements, you know. Um, it's kind of like Shinola. I mean, they're all quartz. I know people have wanted automatics, but to go to, to step up and do an automatic watch is um, exponentially harder than doing a quartz watch. So my hat's off to people like Spinnaker, who I have a lot of quartz watches in their lineup, but then go ahead and do an automatic because I think for a lot of us that like it, like not having to change batteries, like being able to wear a watch, kind of have that sliding seconds hand right there, just like that, um, and enjoy kind of the knowledge that you have a, an automatic watch and are enjoying that and can go on vacation and not have to worry about it 
you know, running out of juice on you. I mean, it's really nice. Now, this uh, watch here, the REC, comes in some different color combos. So if this color combo isn't for you, you know, the uh, the sage and brass, you can get it in different color combos. So, that, you know, everything will be different. Um, mechanically and, and, and physically, they're all going to be the same. But, you know, you you can get some things that maybe a little more traditional or a little more wild. Whatever suits you. The lugs there are curved down a little bit. Like I said, the the watch strap is just really broken in. Water-resistant leather, Spinnaker logo right there. And then the other thing I will say here is it feels nice. Um, you can see here it's a kind of a beveled edge to the case back. You can probably tell there, um, as you were looking at it, that the case itself is really, really rounded. I mean, it's just so smooth. Uh, there's nothing sharp. Even the crystal, like I said, you know, is, is rounded, domed. Maybe a little easier to see there. Uh, so just feels nice. Feels nice in the hand. Has nice weight. And so I think you're going to like it. This watch, $250. I think it's a steal. Pick it up at spinnaker-watches.com. But I'm also going to give you a little bit of good news here. I've got lots of good news about this watch. But a little bit of good news is that I think Spinnaker, in my correspondence with them, is hooking up pan dudes and pandettes out there in the panda nation with a 30% off discount off the rack. So if you like this watch, um, $250, like a $75 uh, discount, I think, uh, use this code PVP30, PVP30 when you check out. And I think that should get you 30% off. I hope that works, man. But, uh, I'm also going to be getting some more spinnakers here, and I'm going to be using my PVP30 code and get myself a discount. Um, so check that out, PVP, Peter Von Beta 30, and uh, hook yourself up with a, a rack on your wrist with a nice, nice discount. Now, you're wondering, what's that other good news, PVP, you said you're hooking people up, you're... You're giving the watch away. That's true. That's true. And I've been thinking about ways to do this in a way that's fair. Uh, helps the channel out. You watching the channel helps me out. But I will say that you sharing these videos helps me out. As you can see, my videos get dozens and dozens of views. Which is kind of statistically impossible when you're on YouTube. There should be people misclicking and giving us thousands of views. Anyway, so what I'd like you to do. Well, this one's going to be on the honor system. I want First of all, I want you to like this video subscribe to my channel there's going to be more stuff coming up really cool stuff coming up here shortly and awesome giveaways um, i'm also going to give a shout out right now that i do have a set up a patreon page i'm going to start putting those links in the description if you so choose to help uh me out and acquiring some more exciting things i would love it check out that patreon link when i put it in there but to get entered in this watch giveaway i want you to share this on facebook Share it on Twitter, share it on Instagram. I don't care where you share it, share it on social media. And then in the comment section below, tell me that you shared it. All right. I don't, I'm not even going to make you share the link of where you shared it. If you want to share it and tag me in it, yes, Peter Space Von Space Panda is my uh, Facebook page for it. Uh, Peter Von Panda is the Twitter handle. Um, I'm on Instagram too, so share it. Feel free to tag me. I love it. But if you don't, come back here. Or if you, you can't, come back here. Put in the comments that you shared this on social media. And then put the country that you live in. Because I'm going to have to live in this to USA and Canada. Because that's where I can afford to ship it to. Uh, because I just cannot figure out those customs forms for other countries, man. They always try to get me. So uh, do that. Share the video. Tell me that you did it. That's going to get you entered in here. And then... Let's see, we will give this watch away. Let's give it away on May 20th, 2017. So that's Armed Forces Day here in the US. It's not Divers Day or Shipwreck Day, but it should be. But May 20th, uh, share it, put the comment in there, and then uh, I'll pick one random commenter, verify that you live in the US or Canada via your comment, and reach out to you and get this out to you so that you can enjoy the Spinnaker watch brand and this wreck on your wrist because uh, you know what I'm I've been super stoked to be able to find Spinnaker. I've been really impressed with them. Peter Von Panda with the Spinnaker wreck out.